All right, so our hot glue layer, uh, at least uh, feeling to the touch, uh, appears to be dry. So we should be good to move on to the next uh, step. Now from this point, we're gonna go, uh, go ahead and add on a little bit of white gesso. Now it's particularly the white gesso versus uh, like black or any other color. We're gonna thin this out a little bit with some water. Uh, as you want it to, uh, specifically to use white, in order that you're gonna maintain uh, a nice bright, uh, pure color for whatever uh, extra color you happen to be using on top of it. Uh, so it may not seem uh, like it makes a lot of sense, but again, specifically use white, don't use black, and uh, it'll make more sense later. So again, you can be a little more haphazard with your brushing, but uh, again, don't be afraid to kind of really play around a little bit. You might need uh, to use thicker gesso up around the lettering, or in this case, numbering. Uh, whatever you did with the, the hot glue, you want to make sure that you actually do cover that and it's not going to uh, create some interesting um, puddles or pools on the side. So I'm going to just go ahead and work on this, throw it into time lapse, and I'll see you guys when this dries. I should make note here that if you don't happen to have gesso, but you do happen to have the uh, fine pumice gel, you can mix some titanium white paint into the uh, fine pumice gel and get uh, basically a similar effect uh, to what Jessa would give you. Alright, now that our Jessa layer is completely dry, and I've actually let, let this sit for a day, so it's definitely, all the layers at this point are definitely dry. You want to uh, basically color uh, the lettering. Uh, we're going to be buffing some color over top, but the color of the letting, lettering is definitely going to show through. So for that, I like to use spray paint. This is some Liquitex Professional stuff. This is really great for studio use because there's no odor and I can use it indoors without any trouble. Uh, now my cap's just about completely clogged. I have probably one, one last use in this and you can just you know, hit the letters and, and you don't have to hit anything else with this. Um, really, we're just focusing on the letter, lettering at this point. And that's the end of that cap. This one's a little better. And with this, we can just go ahead and let this dry. Alright, once your uh, spray paint layer is dry, and you don't have specifically have to use spray paint, I just use it because it's got a lot of really good coverage. This is the first step in where you're going to be sort of adding the dark color and sort of building up the real texture of the book. Uh, or at least the, the visual texture, not so, so much the uh, actual texture of the, the sculpted sections. So for this first layer, it's really important to use a some sort of a dark color. So I recommend like a brown or a black or like a dark blue or green, uh, just to kind of give it a nice uh, base color. For this, I've actually got a mix of about a 6 to 1 Mars black to uh, Thalo blue, so it's going to give it a slightly different uh, and more complex tone than you might get out of just a straight black. So you want to basically create a thinned out, uh, washy uh, section of, of this color. If you're using uh, fluid acrylics, um, then you can just use the fluid acrylics, you won't have to thin them with water. You're also going to want some sort of a rag, paper towel, whatever you have happen to have sitting around, and just going to be doing a little bit of wiping, but not a lot. So grab some paint. And again, we're doing that real sort of haphazard stroke, not really concerned about uniformity. thicker maybe up around the letters. <laughs> Keep calling them letters, they're numbers. And then you can just uh, ever so slightly wipe away just around um, your, your sections of the hot glue, because we do want those to stand out. Kind of tap it around a little, and that much of it will stand out. The rest of it will still be pretty dark. 
Go ahead and do the back as well. And go ahead and do our wiping again. Just real lightly, just kind of dabbing a little bit. here. Just kind of pull it away with your finger. Don't even need the ragged for this. And just like that we've got our first layer of color. So we're going to go ahead and let this dry and I'll be back whenever it dries for the next layer.